in 2014, the Polish black and death metal band released one of the most important albums of that year, The Satanist. Luckily, uh, Nurgle had survived leukemia and that entire album was just an entire celebration of life. Uh, uh, it was an, the team was just victory. And it, it, it was filled with raw energy and power and so many people out there love that album, including myself. After that, uh, they turned, did they did some touring. They uh, did a lot of uh, other projects. Nurgle even <laughs> was one of the jury members on the The Voice of Poland. So that's ska. That's of course an entirely uh, different uh, thing. But you know, you got to broaden your horizons now and then. And a lot of people were looking forward to their eleventh album. And now it's here. I loved you at your darkest. It starts out with the song uh, Solve, which has uh, an evil children's uh, choir chanting uh, all kind of blasphemous things and immediately you know, hey, this is uh, behemoth. It's kind of a weird departure of what they usually do, of course, but you can really, uh, you can really tell Nugo wants to uh, experiment uh, a little bit. So this album is almost like a logical continuation of the Satanists. Same kind of feel, same kind of style, but with a little bit more experimentation uh, going on. And it's absolutely uh, essential for me, for Behemoth, if they want to continue growing. And they have grown considerably the last uh, couple of years. I saw them uh, headlining uh, the Dutch uh, festival Into the Grave. They really blown up. They really have become big. They really have become a big name in a metal scene, and rightfully so. Eleven albums they have existed, they have existed for twenty five years. Really think about that. With this album, I loved you at uh, your darkest. Uh, at your darkest, they started to experiment, but it was the same kind of uh, style. After the first track, uh, Solve, you get uh, Wolves of Siberia, which has um, almost like you can almost take a checklist and uh, check the things off. It makes uh, what makes Behemoth, Behemoth a fast paced uh, song uh, atmosphere. Nurgle singing his guts out, and you know, immediately you know you're in for one hell of a ride. God Equals Dark, the third song, which was the first video, I think, good, pretty strange uh, title with the entire story uh, behind it. As you, uh, probably, as you all probably know, Nurgle has studied history, knows a lot uh, about uh, paganism, about other uh, gods in other, uh, in, uh, in other cultures, and he throws it all into the mix. And with God Equals Dark, again, in Entire, the entire intensity and atmosphere and, and vibe of the song. It's it's so... It, when, you, when you hear the song, you immediately know, hey, this is uh, Behemoth. Other songs, like a song like Barca Bell, which has clean vocals in it, which has clean kind of chanting uh, in it. it, it in, in another in another direction Behemoth takes uh, on this album. Takes some getting used to, the fir first time you hear it you think well, what the hell is going on, but it works and it, the style really uh, grows uh, on you. Sabbath Mater, excuse me, Sabbath Mater, the original song, the original song is Sabbath Mater I, I think, which is, uh, which is a, a church uh, song. Uh, Behemoth puts its own kind of twist uh, on it. This, <laughs> this album has got a lot of blasphemy, uh, my friends. It's uh, thematically very cohesive, what you come to expect uh, from Behemoth. And it has to be... I can understand why some, a lot of people will get turned off by uh, that. Not for me. I think it's, it, it's one of their uh, strong points. I mean, you might know I'm an atheist myself, so doesn't really matter to me, but I think a lot of people who are religious will take offense and that, you know, that, that, that's fine. That's everybody's, that's, uh, that's your own choice to make. But again with this album, a lot of blasphemy, a lot of criticism against organized uh, religion. That's behemoth. 
Take it or leave it. And on this album, on this 11th album, it is comes as uh, no surprise event. It is a lot of those things are going on again. Yeah, it's fine by me. Uh, Sabbath Matter, uh, We Are The Next Thousand Years, Gronk, so great, aggressive, intense uh, tracks, a lot of, lot of blast beats, a lot of haunting uh, guitar solos. It's, uh, it's just another great behemoth album. And the song, if I pronounce it correctly, Havuhish Pantokata, this is really this album's O oh Father, O oh Satan, O oh Son, over the top. Uh, Changes of uh, tempo, does an epic beast of a track, and maybe my personal favorite of this album. Now, is this album as good as a Satanist? I don't think so. It has some fillers, some tracks I didn't really care much uh, about it. Uh, Eclas de Bolica Catalo, Lika, Rome's Five, Eight. I consider that a little bit. I, I, I almost consider it filler. And it didn't do too much for me, personally. That's my opinion, as always. Um, what I think the big difference between the, the Satanist is, and, and the Satanist and, and this album, af because after, sorry, before the Satanist, Nurka was going to really. Uh, tough uh, time, a, a terrible time, one of the, the most horrible things any human being can uh, experience. Cancer is of course absolutely horrible and he survived and that album was almost like a celebration of uh, life and this album is almost like, uh, almost like, how do I say this, we are a behemoth and we're here to stay, which is also absolutely excellent but it misses a little bit of that uh, energy which the Satanist did have and for another example the, the album the Satan started with blowy trumpets Gabriel and finished with oh father or oh Satan or oh son that cannot be topped and this album does not try to do so that I think that's very uh, smart it ends with a song called Goak Vla if I pronounce that correctly once again uh, it's instrumental uh, parts, okay, a little bit forgettable, Does, doesn't stand out at all. I think they know uh, they could not top the ending of their former uh, album. I can, all in all, I can absolutely, that being said, I can recommend uh, this album. I'm going to give it a solid uh, 4 out of 5 uh, stars. Behemoth is growing and growing, fans are uh, everywhere. They respect uh, the music, they respect uh, Nurgle as one of the most charismatic uh, frontmen in metal working today. Without a doubt, my friends. His stage presence. Oh, I love that man. Such. Oh, he, 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 he's such a, such a warlord on stage. You have to see it uh, to, to uh, believe it, but this man was born to make, uh, this man was born to make metal, this man. One for men I really, I really look up to, being to such a terrible uh, state. And lived and survived and won. You gotta respect that. All in all, uh, a solid four stars. Behemoth is here to stay, uh, my friends. <laughs> after 25 years and after 11 albums, yeah, you read it here first, my friends. But they have reached a, uh, they have reached a level. Uh, they belong to. I think they belong with the big boys now. They're here to stay. The, the, the Satan was just some kind of uh, commercial uh, excellent. Nurgle knows what he's doing. Nurgle knows what he's doing. This man is very smart. No, knows how to promote and sell his uh, albums, to own how to sell his band. And will do whatever it takes to make his band a success. And I really respect him for that. Really respect his band. I can't wait to see them live uh, once again in the month of February in the Dutch city of Utrecht. Hope to see you guys there, my friends. And maybe if I hear some of the songs uh, on this album live, I'll give the star another half a star extra, just for the fun of it. I really want that <laughs> a little bit silly, but I really want to know how these songs play out live. Really looking forward to that. I'm very curious. We shall see. Four out of five uh, stars, uh, my friends. I'd truly recommend this uh, album, Behemoth. One of the most important metal bands uh, around. Tell me if you agree or disagree. Tell me if you like this review or that you dislike this review. That's all good, my friends.
you are the best. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button. Subscribe if you like what I do. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon. That would be awesome. See you soon. Bye-bye.